Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can install the M3 rework. Um, so in my last tutorial, about six months ago, um, I showed you how to fix uh, M3 so it works with uh, 2.9. Uh, but now they've come out with uh, another version, which is um, made for uh, 3.0. So, what you want to do is go to the same GitHub page as um, as uh, normal, and uh, I'll leave this in the description. But now you'll see here there's a new release. So you want to go to that, and you just want to click um, Windows, and you can save the file, put it wherever you want. I'm gonna put it on my desktop. And uh, I'm gonna go back to Blender, click Edit, Preferences, and I'm gonna click Install. And you wanna go to Desktop or wherever you stored it, and you'll see here Modular Tree 4.0.2. And I'm installing it for Windows, and you just install the one that's right for your operating system. So once you're done with that, you can just click here. And basically that's how easy it is to install. Now I'm quickly gonna show you how you can get it. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, that, this one, eh. All right, fuck. All right, yeah, uh, anyways. Ignore that. Uh, so you can split the view and um, go down to M3. And you can create a new tree. So in this version, it's a little bit different. Um, if you can click Shift A, you can add a new node, just like if I had any other node editor, like the shading or uh, geometry nodes. So you want to grab a tree measure, and this kind of works like um, the one where you click. Yeah, basically this is the one you generate your trees with, and you can change the resolution and smoothness. Uh, you also want a trunk node, which you'll plug into the tree measure, and you also want branches. So this node, or the um, equivalent to this node in the old versions, uh, was not connected, and uh, you usually kept it over here. But now you have to plug it in to the trunk node, and then you do whatever you want, how many branches, nodes you want. And you also have some modifiers like this, and you have a random value, and you have ramp. Um, I'm gonna go make another video more in depth. So if you like, would like to see that, just comment down in the description. But now I'm just gonna show you the basics, how you can get started. So you click generate tree, and you get a simple tree, and uh, the default tree. And yeah, it looks pretty, looks pretty okay right now. And you'll see when I click generate tree. A new button appeared, which is add leaves, which you can probably guess what it does. So if we click it, you'll see a new object has appeared here. So if I just zoom in here, you'll see it's a little tweak. And they spawn all around here. And uh, what's actually interesting is um, they used geometry nodes to create this thing. And you can change a lot of parameters, um, like uh, size, if you want bigger leaves, if you want less leaves, and a bunch of different parameters, like random rotation, weight, which pulls the leaves down, and uh, flatness, which flattens them. And yeah, a lot of cool stuff. And what's even cooler is that you can, this is like fully customizable, 
So in this view over here, I can go into the geometry node editor and you'll see all these nodes here. So if you're familiar with geometry nodes, you can modify this however you want. But I think this has enough controls for most of the stuff you want to do. So you don't have to worry about this because I have no clue what's going on here. Anyways, so yeah, that was basically no tree, M tree. And uh, yeah, looks pretty good. These already have textures. And that's that. Thank you for watching and uh, please consider subscribing. And if you want a more in-depth tutorial on how you can create specific trees like spruce or pine or whatever. So, goodbye.